There is an expression in English that almost none of my students use, but it's such a good one to learn. Hi everyone, I'm Scott from That's English School. Today, I'm going to show you a phrase which will shorten your sentences. You've probably never heard of it before, but it will cut your sentences almost in half. It's vice versa. Actually, it's such a good phrase, there was a Hollywood movie called Vice Versa back in 1988. God, 1988, that's about 30 years ago. Makes you feel old, eh? Okay, let's get started with Vice Versa. Here is today's lineup. Now, in part one, we're going to talk about the meaning of Vice Versa. In part two, and vice versa. In part three, or vice versa. And then in part four, but not vice versa. And then in part five, I'm going to give you a 10 question little quiz. Part one, what is vice versa? Well, you might be thinking, it doesn't sound like English. Well, you'd be right, because actually, it comes from Latin. So let's check in the dictionary here uh, the meaning or the definition of the word vice versa. V, 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 V. So it means the other way around. So this probably doesn't make much sense yet, but okay, I'll explain. It's used as an adverb. It doesn't need a hyphen. You don't need to put it in italics and it doesn't need quotation marks. It's just a normal word, nothing fancy, used in daily conversation. The pronunciation is like this, vice versa, vice versa, vice versa, vice versa. Even native speakers sometimes mispronounce this word. Some people say vice versa, but really it should be vice versa, vice versa. Don't make that mistake. Part two, and vice versa. Look at how helpful this can be. When he wants to go out, she wants to stay at home. And when she wants to go out, he wants to stay at home. Wow, that's 25 words. That's really long. Let's use vice versa. When he wants to go out, she wants to stay at home and vice versa. So we just sliced off 10 words, 10 words. It's so much shorter. Now remember, pay attention to the comma. See the little comma down there? Comma and vice versa. Okay, let's look at a few more examples. Keiko likes me and vice versa. When I'm free, you're busy and vice versa. If you're finding this video to be helpful, please subscribe to our channel. We have lots of other videos for you to improve your English. Thank you. Part three, or vice versa. So this is basically just the same as and vice versa, but when we use or, we don't need the comma. You can go by bus from Tokyo to Osaka, or you can go from Osaka to Tokyo. Let's use or vice versa. You can go by bus from Tokyo to Osaka or vice versa. We just sliced off five words. We went from 17 words down to 12 words. That's a big saving. Here is another example. You can add chocolate and then the sugar or vice versa. It doesn't really matter. Part four, 
but not vice versa. So this is when the opposite cannot be said. A teacher can set a good example to his or her student, but a student cannot set a good example for his or her teacher. Let's use but not vice versa. A teacher can set a good example to his or her student, but not vice versa. Wow, we sliced off nine words. I mean, nine words, that's a lot. It became so much more compact. And one more point, don't forget when you're using but not vice versa to use the comma. You must use the little comma. Here are some more examples. I hate her little dog, but not vice versa. Japan is a very important market to the UK, but not vice versa. Part five, quiz. Okay, now we're gonna do a little quiz with 10 questions about vice versa. So first, I'm gonna show you a Japanese sentence and I'll leave it on the screen for about five seconds or so. And I want you to look at it and think about how you would say the same sentence in English using vice versa. So probably your answer will be different from my answer, but the most important thing is you're using vice versa in an accurate way. Good luck. How was the quiz? I really enjoyed talking about this topic today and I hope vice versa. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.